Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. A few days ago I had this urge to practice something that I hear drummers play a lot. You know, I hear drummers, hip hop drummers and then sort of fusion drummers um, play a little triplet licks on the hi-hat while they're playing a groove, just as you heard me playing at the start of this video. I've never been one to kind of figure out exactly what they were doing, but it was a sound that I really liked and a sound that I wanted to explore. And so I went off on a little journey to try and come up with something that I could use. So my instant default was to just play a six stroke triplet. So that's the right, left, left, right, right, left, leading with my right hand in this kind of fashion. One, two, three, four. Now that's a perfectly acceptable way to play it, uh, but I wanted to play it in a way that didn't require me to take my left hand off the snare drum, or in this case, start the lick with my right hand as you saw me play then. So in order for me to play that, I had to move my right hand from the hi-hat to the snare drum. I was trying to avoid that. So what I did was simply start that lick with the left hand. So all I'm doing here is playing that six stroke triplet leading with the left hand. So the sticking is left, right, right, left, left, right. What this does is put the, um, the accent at the very end of that phrase or the very end of that lick with my right hand on the hi-hat and so therefore it opens up a couple of other possibilities. So let me just play you that sticking on the hi-hat on its own. One and a, two and a, one and a, two and a. So I'm going to play that with the um, left hand on the snare drum being the very first note. That would sound like this. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. So what I'll do is play that with the left hand starting on the snare drum. All the other notes are on the hi-hat. That would sound like this. One, two, one, two. It's that simple. So let me put that in the context of the groove. I'm just going to, I'm going to treat this as 16th note triplets starting on beat four. And I'm going to play it a little slower than I did at the start of the video. One, two, three, four. Now another thing you heard me play at the start of the video was a little extension that I put which kind of carried the fill from beat four and then leading into beat two. I've just added an extra triplet. So what I did there was this. One, two, three, four. Now if I'm thinking of that as 16th note triplets, what I'm doing is at the start of the bar playing a kick followed by uh, two 16th note triplets, kick, right, left, right. The right at the end is on the and. So it's one and two and three and four and. So I put those two elements together and we have this. going to play that up to speed. One, two, three, four.
There are a couple of orchestration options here that I want to show you. The first one is to play that triplet lick starting on beat four, but just keeping the left hand on the snare drum. So instead of moving the left hand from the snare drum to the hi-hat, I'm just going to keep it on the snare drum. That'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. Then the other reorchestration idea is to take that very last right hand stroke, so the one with the accent on it, and move that to a tom. One, two, three, four. Now one thing to remember is if you're playing this pattern where you move the left hand from the snare drum to the hi-hat, as I did at the beginning, then it's important that you just allow yourself a bit of space for your left hand to get from the snare drum to the hi-hat unimpeded by your right hand. So you're going to have to just choreograph your right hand to move outwards a little bit. So you're kind of doing this very slowly, one, two, three. So when you practice, keep that movement in mind. Try to practice it so it just becomes a natural part of your muscle memory and so therefore you won't have that problem of your a little tangle occurring between your right and left hand. Now if you want to download the PDF that accompanies this lesson, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. So that's it for this week. I hope this is something that you can have a little bit of fun with. It's a great little lick. Um, I'm going to probably play it at my gig tonight, all going well. Um, anyway, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video which is every week so until next week have a great week have fun practicing this idea and um, see you soon bye